Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the Great Indian Bustard Recovery Program. So the Great Indian Bustard is the state bird of Rajasthan and as of now the IUCN status of the Great Indian Bustard is critically endangered and they are the birds whose numbers are declining rapidly and if we talk about in the last 10 to 15 years or you can say 20 years the number have gone down drastically low and these birds are now in the numbers of hundreds left in our country. So it becomes very important to look into their conservation. So the points of discussion. First, we will be looking at the news, then about Great Indian Bustard and what is the Great Indian Bustard recovery plan, what are the threats because of which the number of Great Indian Bustards are going down and in the end a prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment and the subsection is conservation. So, let us begin. The news talks about critically endangered Great Indian Bustard Recovery Program and what lies ahead. So, Great Indian Bustard are critically endangered. It means that the numbers are very few and the Great Indian Bustard Recovery Program. So, what has happened recently is that the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, it has approved a rupees 56 crore for the next phase of the Great Indian Bustard and Lesser Florican Conservation. So, there are two bird species here. One is the Great Indian Bustard and second is the Lesser Florican. And it is saying that the next phase of the Great Indian Bustard and Lesser Florican Conservation. Next phase means that this is not a new program. This program is already existing. This program is already going on. And the next phase of it has been talked about and rupees 56 crore has been approved for it. Then the proposal for the next phase which is prepared by the WII which is the Wildlife Institute of India. So, the next phase is prepared by the Wildlife Institute of India. Then the next phase includes key targets such as rebuilding bustard breed in ex C2 conservation centers. It means that the in C2 in C when we talk about in C2 and ex C2, in C2 means the place where they originally are present and X C2 means a place which is artificially created outside their original area of out, out of their original area. So, X C2 conservation centers will be made. It means that the center which are outside their space of living or space of habitation will be created and developing artificial insemination technique. Artificial insemination technique means that man-made, it means transparent and artificially insemination will be done so that the, the, the breeding can improve and the population of the great Indian bustard can increase. So, these basically the, 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 the main aim of the recovery program is with regard to increasing the population size of the great Indian bustard and the lesser florican. So, main aim is with regard to whatever population is left that needs to be conserved and preserved and efforts needs to be made so that the population can increase. Now, about the great Indian bustard and lesser florican. So, they look at this picture. This picture is of lesser Florican and in lesser Florican, among the lesser Florican, the male counterparts are small in size as compared to the female counterparts. And if we talk about the great Indian bustard, then this is the image of the great Indian bustard. Then, great Indian bustard and lesser Florican, the IUCN status is critically endangered. Both are critically endangered. Then, only around 140 great Indian bustard are left and less than 1000 lesser floricans are left in our country. Then 120 bustards are found.
फाउंड इन दी डेजर्ट एंड सेमी एरिड लैंडस्केप ऑफ राजस्थान अलोन इट मीन्स दैट द नेचुरल हैबिटेशन एरिया ऑफ द ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड आर डेजर्ट एरिया और द सेमी एरिड एरिया एंड दे आर द स्टेट बर्ड ऑफ राजस्थान दे आर बेसिकली फाउंड इन द राजस्थान बट नॉट ओनली फाउंड इन द राजस्थान दे आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन गुजरात महाराष्ट्र एंड कर्नाटका इवन दो वेरी स्मॉल इन नंबर्स देन द ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड आर ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड टू बी द फ्लैगशिप ग्रासलैंड स्पीशीज and when whenever any species considered to be a flagship grassland species it means that it represent the health of the grassland ecology that if they are present it tells about the how the grassland is behaving and what is the ecosystem there and how is the ecosystem performing then it is the state bird of rajasthan if we talk about the iucn red list then it is status it is critically endangered sites it comes under appendix 1 CMS that is Convention on Migratory Species it comes under Appendix One and then Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 it comes under Schedule One it need it means that they are the they are the species which require utmost conservation. Now about the Great Indian Bustard Recovery Plan so the first step to address the decline of the Great Indian Bustard population was taken between 2012 and 20. 13 and a recovery prog project was formed up in the year 2016 and then for the first time it received a funding of rupees 33.85 crore and that was for 7 years time period and the aim was to improve the bird habitation and start a conservation breeding program conservation breeding program it means that the population which is already present that needs to be conserved then in the year 2018 a tripartite agreement was signed between the ministry of environment forest and climate change rajasthan forest department and the wildlife institute of india so among these three the tripartite agreement was signed in the year 2018 and as i just said that the basic aim was to conserve the great indian bustard and the next phase will be talking from the time period of 2024 to 2033 and it will focus on habitat development in situ conservation completing a conservation breeding center and releasing captive bred birds see habitat development it means the the situation which are favorable for their for their development that needs to be created in situ conservation that whatever is their natural area of habitation conservation needs to be done at that point of time and in that place also then completing a conservation breeding center conservation breeding center a place where breeding can be done and then what the captive bred birds needs to be released in the open now let us talk about how the population decline has taken place so the great indian bustard population fell by 90% in the 50 years since 1969 then population size was 1260 individuals in 1969 but in the year 1978 it fell to 745 in the year 2000 it came down to 600 in the year 2011 it came down to 250 and in the year 2019 it was less than 150 and now it is less than 140 now what are the threats because of which the conservation of the great indian bustard or the population of the great indian bustard is coming down then that is prime reason is the collision with the power lines now this is the prime reason and this is one of the reasons which, on which a committee has been formed even the meetings takes place between the among the recovery program people and the recovery program is also specifically focusing on the how to reduce the collision of great indian bustard with the power lines because the power lines cannot be completely shut off from that area and a large number of great indian bustard in around 20 great indian bustard have lost their life with regard to the collision with the power lines then nest predation by native predators 
like cow monitor lizard and free ranging dogs so the when the breeding takes place the eggs are eaten by the predators hunting then agricultural expansion is taking away away their natural habitat pesticide prevalence food reduction and contamination contamination is also a problem as when the contamination issue comes up a large number or a, a large population of any species is lost then grazing pressure plantation of shrubs and tree species in the grassland so whatever is the in situ conservation or whatever is the natural habitat of the great indian bustard that is that is played or that is fabricated because of the developmental work or the infrastructure works so these are few of the threats then in the end it is a prelims practice question and you people will give me the answer in the comment section it is a pyq of the year 2020 and the question talks about with reference to india's desert national park which of the following statements are correct desert national park desert national park first it is spread over two districts second there is no human habitation inside the park third it is one of the natural habitats of great indian bustard you have to talk about the correct answer codes are 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 so as it is a pyq i hope and i would like to believe that you people must might have seen it or solved it at least once so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications